Hi folks, this is Jay. Hope you're okay today. It's good to see you. And I uh, hope everybody's okay. Um, we're looking at our third study at Piccadilly Gardens Community Church. Don't forget, it's every Friday, 7.30pm. Uh, 11am uh, um, on a Sunday morning and uh, 3, I think, 30pm uh, in the afternoon on a Sunday. Uh, you're welcome to come and if you want to know the details if you look for the YouTube channel Piccadilly Church or type in Piccadilly Gardens Community Church you'll find videos connected to that and you'll be able to find the details of contact details there of how to get to the place of study and of worship. Uh, we're looking at our third study uh, James chapter 1 excuse me if we pray Lord we thank you for this day we thank you for your goodness and love and Father we pray as we look at your word that you are bless in your name and for your glory Amen so we're looking at uh, the book of James today the book of James here we are <clears throat> James a servant of God verse 1 and of the Lord Jesus Christ to the twelve tribes scattered among the nations consider it pure joy my brothers whenever you face trials of many kinds because you know that the testing of your faith develops perseverance and perseverance must finish its work so that you may be mature and complete not lacking anything so it's talking about trials and if you follow the Lord Jesus Christ you're going to have trials and we've been looking at that. If we turn to uh, Romans chapter 8 verse 17 Romans 8 17 Romans 8 17 it says now if we are children then we are heirs of God and co-heirs with Christ with Christ even indeed we share in his sufferings in order that we may also share in his glory so we share in in the sufferings of Christ you know if we're going to follow the Lord Jesus Christ we've got to share in the blessings but also in the difficulties and there are going to be difficulties if we follow the Lord it's not going to be easy sailing all the time many people think that being a Christian is a psychological crutch but they don't realize that if you become a Christian you'll have more difficulties if we turn to 2 Corinthians chapter 1 2 Corinthians chapter 1 2 Corinthians <coughs> excuse me chapter 1 It says, verse 1 to 7, Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus by the will of God, and Timothy, our brother, to the church of God in Corinth, together with all the saints, through Ikea, grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of compassion and the God of all comfort, who comforts us in all our troubles so that we can comfort those in any trouble with the comfort we ourselves have received from God. So the Bible teaches that that God is a God of all comfort. So yeah, the Christian life's difficult, but at the same time God's caring and He's with us and He comforts us and He's, and He encourages us. If we turn to Philippians chapter one verse twenty nine Philippians one twenty nine says, For it has been granted to you on behalf of Christ not only to believe on him but also to suffer for him so again it's not only about believing in Christ we also will suffer for the Lord with the Lord as well and then Philippians 3:10 says I want to know Christ and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship in his sufferings becoming like him in his death so we have fellowship in his sufferings in other words 
as we suffer we gain a sort of connection with Christ in a deeper way we understand what he did for us more we appreciate what he's doing in us more then if you turn to Hebrews chapter 5 verse 8 Hebrews 5 verse 8 Hebrews 5 verse 8 says although he was a son he learned obedience from what he suffered so the Lord learned obedience in his suffering and that's what we're to learn when we suffer we're to learn obedience we're to learn how to obey God even when we're suffering then if you turn to 1 Peter chapter 2 1 Peter chapter 2 verse 21 it says to this you were called because you because Christ suffered for you leaving you an example that you should follow his steps so our example in suffering is Christ who died on the cross for us who gave his life for us as we struggle in our life let us look to Christ and see what he did for us and learn from him then if we turn to uh, 1 Peter chapter 3 verse 12 to 18 1 Peter sorry chapter 3 verse 14 to 17 Says, but even if you should suffer for what is right you are blessed do not fear what they do do not be frightened do not fear what they fear do not be frightened but in your hearts <coughs> set apart as Christ as Lord always be prepared to give an answer to everyone who asks you to give the reason for the hope that is that you have do this with gentleness and respect <coughs> what Peter's saying here is look when you're suffering make sure you're suffering because you're following Jesus okay there's some people who suffer but it's nothing to do with Jesus <coughs> but if you follow Jesus excuse me if you follow Jesus and you will <coughs> excuse me you will suffer but if you don't follow Jesus and you suffer make sure that it's not your own fault okay that's what Peter's saying in other words if you get if you say you're a Christian you get out you get drunk one night and have a fight with someone and then you you're put in a, a, a cell a prison cell it's no good saying Christ you're allowing me to suffer because I'm a Christian that's something you've caused because of your own stupidity so if you're going to suffer make sure you suffer because you're following Jesus and then 1 Peter chapter 4 verse 12 Dear friends, do not be surprised at the painful trial you are suffering as though something strange were happening to you. So if it's suffering is coming our way, it's not strange, it's normal in the Christian life. So we've, we've looked at uh, our first three parts in the studies in James. We're going right through the book and I hope the last couple of studies will help us to see the need to really realize that when we become Christians it's not going to be easy we're going to enter difficult times and be prepared for that okay so let's come before the Lord let's uh, sorry let's just finish Dear Lord, we just praise you and thank you for this day. And we pray that you'd help us to stand for you, Lord, and be willing to suffer for the gospel. Be with each person who's heard these three studies in your name and for your glory, Lord. Amen. Amen. Take care now and God bless you and see you around. Take care.